What's happening? Price Pollination and NutriBio Bio Crew folks and everyone looking for a little bit of liver detox crew. This video goes out to the to the liver punishment squad, let's just say. My name is Mike Roberto, and I'm the founder of Price Blonde. I don't mean to take that too lightly because this is actually a very serious topic. And so we're gonna be talking about Nutribio's newest formulated milk thistle extract. This is, uh, as you can see, I haven't opened these bottles yet, but we'll open them up to show some of the B-roll footage and everything. But this is gonna be more of an ingredient explanation. Nutribio uh, sponsors our channel and our website. They have banner ads and these products were sent for free. And there is an affiliate relationship with our price plot coupon code. So let's get that out of the way. This is not a review. This is an ingredient explainer because uh, despite the trashing of my liver that I uh, did in my 20s, my liver uh, enzyme levels are actually like very, very tip top. So I'm not gonna be needing this, but I do wanna talk about this because it is very, very important to me. So the liver is an organ. We also we often hear about detoxification of, is one of the main functions of the liver, and that is true, and especially in the case where you're throwing punishment at it, whether it's drugs, alcohol, environmental toxins, or our processed food supply, which I'll get into later on. But, uh, in, but even more importantly is the liver's role, to me, the liver's role in um, processing carbohydrates, fats, and packaging of triglycerides and overall metabolic function. And we don't really get to talk about that enough. And so that's what we're gonna talk about kind of at the end, because I have some theories. Personally, I believe that uh, in terms of like burning fat, I don't think you're gonna burn a whole lot of actual body fat until you cleared out the liver fat first. So that's a whole other story, but it has to do uh, with some of the research we're gonna talk about here. So Nutribio put out a new, uh, a new milk thistle product. And in milk thistle, the, the, the main active ingredient is typically silly Marin and or maybe silly marin and this is actually not just one cons compound or one constituent it is actually a family of constituents that come from the milk thistle plant so the reason right off the bat we're going to talk about why out of all the milk thistle supplements it's like you already know the milk thistle research you just want to know why should i use this one why why would i go with neutral european milk thistle what does this european thing mean uh as it says right up there the story is that this is a dry extract and by dry extract, we mean it's not solvent extracted. As you can see right here, it says acetone free. And the fact of the matter is that if they don't say on the label that it's a European dry extract, then the chances are that it's been extracted, solvent extracted with acetone. And that's, like, that's the same stuff as in nail polish remover. And not only can that add more harmful chemicals which is something your liver probably doesn't need if you're taking milk thistle in the first place. You're trying to detox your liver. That could add more harmful chemicals. That can also um, remove and destroy some of the, the helpful constituents in the milk thistle. So some of that cheaper milk thistle out there is solvent extracted, and that is the wrong way to go. In addition, this is a clinical dosed supplement if you take, um, if you take the, the, the recommended dose of three per day. It's actually gonna be above clinical. The way this is formulated, we have 241 milligrams of milk thistle extract and it's standardized for the silymarins. And if you do the math, you're gonna get over 420 milligrams of silymarin uh, in, in each day's worth. And that is the actual clinical dose that we're gonna talk about in a lot of these studies. Um, and finally, of course, because it's Nutribio, it is not only, it, the, their, their stance in open formula doesn't matter as much because it's just a single ingredient capsule, but what does matter is their third-party lab testing. Out of all the supplement companies out there, there are very few that actually publish third-party lab tests that are performed at a different uh, lab, and Nutribio does that. Checkmysubs.com is where you can check it out. Here's the uh, lot number if you want to look at that. I don't know if you're going to see that on YouTube here, but either way. Checkmysubs.com, and so you can see the third-party lab test, and that's the Nutribio difference. This is not acetone extracted. So let's talk a little bit about the silymarin, because silymarin is actually, a silymarin is actually a group of constituents. So a lot of people think it's one ingredient. It's actually many of them. And so we have a list on our blog post, and there's a very, very in-depth blog post. I went, I went out of control writing this thing. Let's, let's just put it that way. Um, there's like over 5,000 words. But the main one is silybinin, but there's also silydeanin and silychristin, and then, um, a whole bunch of other uh, uh, flavonoids such as isocilibin, uh, isocilicristin, there's a ton of them. And so this is, a, a, this is an ingredient that has many different constituents, but it seems to be the silibinin is the most important one. And the mechanism of how this improves liver function so well is 
not fully known at this point, but there's two main theories on how it works. And the first is that um, looking at the data from the mice studies, and we have plenty of human studies, so don't worry about that, but just looking at how, how it worked in the, mice, in the mice studies when they injected it, it seems that uh, injected psilocybin actually increases the protein formation in the liver. So and it gets the livers to do their jobs a little bit more. And that's most likely due to, uh, it's the stimulation of RNA and polymerase uh, one activation. So there's some some RNA uh, uptick happening here, getting the liver to do its job more effectively. So there's a whole slew of evidence, and what you're going to see in the in the blog post that we have a link to over and over and over, it's 420 milligrams of this European dry extracted silly marin that is actually like the clinical dose, and you're going to get over that. And so there's main, there's there's probably like four main reasons why. Um, you would consider doing this. And if you have a problem with your, with your liver enzymes, you obviously, before we go any further, this is not like a medical diagnosis or anything like that. Uh, even though the research is incredibly strong, you need to try to remove the toxin from the problem in the first place. And if you're drinking yourself to death or doing drugs that trash the liver or eating yourself into a state of liver damage, you need to remove the problem. There's, a, there's some studies that show that milk thistle can lengthen uh, the amount of you know, lifespan of people with liver problems. But the fact of the matter is that if you're still poisoning yourself to death, nothing's gonna stop that train from eventually crashing. So get help. If you have a problem, if you have an addiction, if you have any problems, there are so many ways to get help out there. And I do believe that diet is very, very, very much involved and um, avoiding all the processed foods is going to be one of the many steps. But this is, if there's a psychological problem going on, you need to get help. There's other people out there who are you know, kind of, let's just say, purposely doing things to trash their liver. And in that case, after the, uh, the initial insult, you're gonna want to do whatever you can to improve the, the, the health of your liver and milk thistle and specifically a dry extracted silly marin is going to help with that. And so that's kind of where things started with the milk thistle research. Like this has long been used, thousands of years. This plant has been used, and I actually have one growing in my front yard. This plant has been used to actually, um, to help detoxify to certain like liver conditions and metabolic conditions over the course of time. And this is one of those situations where it turns out the ancient, uh, the ancient remedies work and work really well. And so in the 70s, the research kind of really started taking off where there were some psychotropic drugs for like schizophrenic patients that just were known to just obliviate the liver. They worked, the drugs kind of worked, but the, the liver just took the beating out of it to the point of like total poisoning. And it turned out that they were able to reverse or at least improve a lot of the conditions with a well-dosed uh, milk thistle formulation. And so that's kind of where the research started. So if you're, um, so if you have drug-induced liver damage, we might not have like, you know, not every drug is tested with this, but drug-induced liver damage, there is definitely human research showing that we can help the liver um, clear itself out, you know, upregulate the amount of proteins that it's making to uh, reduce the amount of damage caused from the drugs. But the biggest one is oftentimes from alcoholic cirrhosis. And so this is where I bring up the fact that everyone, you know, alcohol is clearly not needed in the diet by anyone. And it is a, it is, um, a serious, serious problem. For some, it's a choice. And for others, it becomes not so much of a choice. And obviously, abstinence is going to be most important. If you're to the point of alcoholic cirrhosis, you got to get help. But at the same time, there's a lot of studies showing that milk thistle can help improve the symptoms, not just the symptoms, but all the liver enzymes, not all the liver enzymes, but like nearly all the liver enzyme levels uh, in the blood work and the, the, the general well-being and even the lifespan of individuals with cirrhosis of the liver due to alcohol poisoning, let's just say. Uh, but at the same time, like this is lipstick on a pig if you're drinking yourself to death, and let's just be honest. But if you are looking to improve your path, I definitely do think that milk thistle can help, and there is a lot of studies showing that this can help. But this is, an, again, an adjunct therapy to true psychological support, family and social support, spiritual support, and of course, abstinence. So get help if you need to. Now, many of the, of the studies that were done on milk thistle, at least, and so many that we cite with the dry, the European dry extract, many that we cite are actually uh, not translated into English. So we're, we're doing our best to get some of the data, but a lot of the studies are actually on just anyone with general liver damage. And in general, you have a lot of drug-induced damage, you have a lot of uh, hepatitis, you have a lot of the cirrhosis from alcohol poisoning, and then a lot of times you have 
unknown. And I have theories that I think the unknown causes of those uh, damages outside of environmental toxins, which is another area we'll get into, uh, I, I believe it's diet. And some people react worse to the processed foods than others. And so in a lot of these studies, uh, for instance, subjective symptoms disappeared in 50 to 56% of patients. And this is just from general people with like any type of liver issue. Uh, liver enlargement normalized in 27%. And there was an improvement in 56% of patients. And various blood, blood work parameters such as GGT improved, uh, re reduced by 34 to 46% and got into the normal range for 50% of people. So there's uh, this is just one of the three men main general studies I'm talking about here where these dry extracts seem to be very, very efficacious. Of course, again, it's got to be with the assistance of other help. You can't just throw lipstick on this pig. <laughs> Finally, uh, there's also people who have environmental toxin damage, uh, such as certain factory workers. And milk thistle, once again, was able to improve the liver status of, uh, of certain individuals who were exposed to harmful chemicals in, uh, in their work environment. So uh, it's only, you know, that study is really only specific to that one situation, but it seems that if you are exposed to harmful uh, hazardous chemicals on the job or anywhere really, but on the job, if you're like working the fryer at the, at the uh, restaurant, that's a good situation to possibly be wanting to take milk thistle. Now, uh, there's, and so the, the, the data goes on and on and on. There's so many citations, there's so many meta-analyses. It works really well. I do believe that you want to stay away from the acetone stuff. That's the worst time to be getting acetone into your body when you have a liver problem and you want to stick with the European dry extract. And that's why I'm excited. This is one of those times, just like we talked about with Nutribio's Maca, the Lipidamax. There's a problem with the Maca supply out there. There's one supplier that we do trust that's actually getting it from Peru, which is where it belongs. And that's, uh, and that's Nutrition 21's Lipidamax. Similarly, this is solving the problem of poor for these solvent extracted milk thistles, you need to get the good European stuff, not the acetone stuff. So Nutribio is doing a great job of taking a supplement that has been well known forever, but actually getting the right stuff and then publishing the third party lab test. That's why it's important. And that's why I think this is a great supplement. If you have uh, poor enzyme levels, or you know that you're exposing yourself to certain drugs, you're getting a little bit aggressive on the, uh, you know, on the injections, stuff like that. And that's why I recommend Nutribio's Milk Thistle or something similar, the European stuff, stay away from the acetone extracts because they're probably not gonna put it on the label too. So you gotta make sure right there, acetone free. Now, that's about the end of my little ingredient explanation. Check out the blog post, it's huge. But I need to go into a little bit of extra. And the extra has to do with diet. In general, with a lot of these unknown liver conditions, we see, we've seen the, 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 the resurgence of uh, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD, and it's gotten way worse over time. It's to the point where like toddlers and children and adolescents are getting it. And that, that's sad. That means there's something wrong. We haven't changed. Maybe we're slowly changing as epigenetics changes as we're eating so much crap and not taking care of our kids properly. But we haven't changed so much as the food supply has changed. And the biggest change to me, a lot of people are going to point at fructose being toxic to the liver. And I do, that, do believe that to a degree. But we have reduced the amount of high fructose corn syrup and the amount of fructose sweetening that's gone into a lot of these supplements. And the NAFLD problem is still getting worse. And the reason is, to me, it's the toxic linoleic acid. It's the omega-6 fatty acids, the omega-6 polyunsaturated fatty acids that are so pervasive in our food supply. And getting rid of those is going to be the best way in my opinion, of getting rid of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. They used to think that NAFLD, the, they used to think that the, that the subjects were actually, the patients were actually lying and they were alcoholics, but they weren't, they were just telling the truth to the doctors. They couldn't believe why are their livers so, so inflamed. And over the course of time, the medical establishment and the doctors realized that they weren't lying. It just happens that there is a way of damaging your liver to the point where it is basically going to kill you if you don't fix it. And there is one study that I think is really worth noting, and it, it was a pilot study. There, it wasn't like double, it wasn't double blinded, it wasn't controlled like that. But they put the subjects on a high carbohydrate, but low linoleic acid diet, no seed oils, none of that sunflower oil, none of that safflower oil, corn oil, uh, canola oil, rapeseed oil, uh, linseed oil, cottonseed oil. I'm missing one. All that garbage. They got them off of that, those fake processed oils, went on a linole low linoleic acid diet and reversed, 100% cure rate, reversed 
non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And this is what the medical establishment has been calling a non-curable disease. It only gets worse, they said. Not true. I know doctors who are reversing this through diet by getting away from the garbage processed foods and the garbage processed foods almost always have the seed oils inside. Everyone knows omega-3 to omega-6 fatty uh, acid ratio is one of the most important factors in avoiding obesity. But there's only so much fish, there's only so much omega-3 we can eat. It's the poisonous polyunsaturated fatty acid omega-6 fatty acids that are causing the problems. I'm telling you folks right here, right now, if you stay away from those seed oils and you do a little bit of fasting to help your liver clear out its fat, it takes time. For a while, if you go on a, like a, a low carb, intermittent fasting style diet, your liver's gonna be pumping out triglycerides like crazy. Your triglyceride numbers might be a little bit wild for a couple months. You should do this with a doctor who knows what they're doing. But if eventually you clean out your liver, you will be able to actually burn legitimate body fat. Until then, your liver is just gonna be used as a temporary storage tank for all that sugar and all the seed oils and all that extra fat and sugar together that is processing and that it's just getting stuck with and eventually, your body is going to become basically energy toxic. Your body is no longer going to accept it. No more new fat cells. Not everyone is lucky enough to actually become obese. Some people just get sick. Obesity is protective because it just keeps storing the fat. It's not good, but it's protective. Some people just get sick and their body will no longer tolerate any more of this. And the liver is one of the first things to go. The way around it is with a low seed oil diet, low linoleic acid diet, a little bit of fasting, and probably avoiding fructose at that point too. But it doesn't even need to be. It doesn't even need to be a low carb diet is what some of this research is showing. And that's one of the most important things to me. And I think we're gonna see it over time. There are doctors out there who are reversing this irreversible disease. So if you have a food-based fatty liver disease, I do believe milk thistle can help, but you do need to also get away from this disgusting processed food supply and you're gonna to need to start cooking on your own. Butter and beef tallow, far superior to all those fake, disgusting canola oils out there. So that's my little rant. Thanks for watching. In general, I think a lot of the, uh, the athletes watching who are uh, you know, Nutribio fans, they, they know what they're getting into when it comes to liver damage. But for everyone else, um, if you're not sure what's going on with the liver, why your enzymes are so bad, take a look at your food and take a look at how much sunflower oil, safflower oil, and corn oil, and rapeseed canola oil, and all that garbage you're in, intaking, and there's a good chance that that is the true problem, and we're gonna find that out over the next 10 years. Mark it right here. Mike Roberto with Price Ball. Thanks for letting me rant a little bit. This was a video for Nutribio's Milk Thistle. Still very important, but you gotta get rid of the poison first. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Thanks for watching. Mike with Price Ball here. Welcome to Price File.